when you have an accident, you get hurt and your car's damaged. You, you got issues about the, getting your car fixed and what what happens, and you got issues about the, your personal injury, uh, what it takes to to make a claim, what it what uh, you know, what has to happen before you have a claim, even. Uh, but the more uh, an important thing is they did change the law about this. If you have an accident, you, it's important that you go see a doctor within 14 days for your personal injury protection benefits. That is your own personal injury protection benefits to kick in. And if you wait too long, and 15 days would be too long, then suddenly you have difficulties with it and might not even have a claim at all against your own personal injury protection benefits. Because everybody's insurance policy in Florida has personal injury protection benefits. It's the no-fault law. And that I mean, what the legislature in its wisdom decided is that if someone was hurt in a car accident, their, their own insurance company had to pay medical expenses and lost wages up to usually $10,000. And so everybody's policy has that. And so if you get hurt in an accident, doesn't matter who is at fault, your company has to pay that first $10,000, if you will, in lost wages and, and, and uh, medical expenses. that's called PIP coverage, PIP. PIP. Now, Personal weren't, injury weren't protection. they thinking about getting rid of PIP coverage a couple years ago? They keep talking about that and uh, the and because there's a lot of fraud involved in it. The, because it's very difficult sometimes to know. You're talking about somebody says, my neck hurts. It's very, you can't look at them and tell that one way or the other. And so there's a lot of fraud involved in it, and they, had, they found out there were people who were, had rings where they would actually hit each other with cars. And so they, they, to create claims when there wasn't one. And so they keep talking about that, but they, well, I think what they find, they being the insurance companies, is that this is better than the, the old system. When the old system was you could sue somebody if you had a $5 damages. Now you have to have a permanent impairment of some percentage from given to you by a doctor before they, you have a claim against the other party, and that's the that's the no fault idea. That is, it doesn't matter what happened, you can make some recoveries. Uh, you lost wages and medical expenses up to ten thousand dollars, regardless of who was at fault, and regardless of how bad you hurt. In one sense of the word, how bad, and the the and you cannot sue the other party unless you have a permanent impairment. You can usually sue so for out of pocket. I know one wage, of the things that, one of the things that you do is insurance claims and insurance denials of claims. So sometimes people in automobile accidents where there's no personal injury involved, but it's just a question of getting their car fixed, mm-hmm. and that in and of itself can be a hassle. Whether you look to your own insurance company or the other driver's insurance company, yeah, it it is a hassle. So I usually recommend if the other party has insurance, you need to go to them first. Uh, because your company, when you deal with them, you got the deductible. Oftentimes they can get the deductible back from the at-fault party, if you will. But that creates difficulties and problems. And usually the other party is trying to get you settling out of their hair, if you will. Uh, so that's what I usually recommend. Look to the other party if there is. Look to your company if there isn't. Uh, but remember, you're dealing with you're dealing with the at-fault party. You've got you somebody who is against you. Your company is for you. And so you can cooperate and tell your company anything and hopefully work it out. Well, another thing I think you ought to always do when you're dealing with property damage is to find out what your car is worth before you go talk to them. Hey, folks, my name is Tom Olson. The name of the show is Olson Law, Law now 30 years in Orlando Marketplace. So it's on every Saturday on WDBO uh, at 11 a.m. and now every Sunday morning on ESPN right here in Orlando. We're coming absolutely live today. We appreciate all your great calls and questions. And if I may suggest for you, uh, go outdoors and take pleasure in the beauty of nature. Remember, you can always call us at our office at 407-423-5561. Check out our website at lawtube.com like YouTube, but LawTube. My name is Tom Olson. Have a great week.